Greetings, everybody. Okay, so we just finished with the writer's meeting, and it's actually 8.37 p.m. We normally finish at 9, but we got done early. So I did write some comments down that they did uh, mention, and I thought the chapter that I read from Shane's point of view was actually... I thought it was good. Well, these are all the comments that I have. So, um... I kind of noticed this when I was like uh, reading it. Uh, give more setting where Shane is. And then he's Korean and he's 14. So I think when I uh, work on his point of views, I'll have to add a lot of like Korean things. Like maybe he'll like say something in Korea like, oh my gosh, or just little symbols or something. And then someone else mentioned good came out of it. I didn't really uh, catch what the person said, but I don't think it's a good thing. Uh, there is a scene like towards the end of the chapter where the character is like um, time traveled or uh, what's it called? I can't remember what the word is. Uh, he's in one place for like two seconds and then uh, two seconds later he's in a different place. So... Um, I think I understand what they, what that person said. So I'm going to rewrite that. And then why is he being called after her? I did explain that. I don't think, um, the person that had asked this, I don't think you heard it. So, um, I'll definitely just look back at that just to make sure if I read it right or if he misunderstood it. Work on the talking. Who's talking? Because I kind of noticed when I was reading it. So Shane is talking to the goddess that actually created the sword of the realms. So the sword controls all the realms around the world. And he was talking to her. She came to Shane and she chose him to go find Crystal who has the gemstone. So I will definitely um, work on the tags for that. And then... Um, I'm go I need to give some personality traits to each character to map them out to make them different from each other. Then I said once in a while. I don't I really don't know why I said that, but someone caught it. And then vials. Um I need to add I need to add tags, a gift setting of the outside world because when I was reading it, they had no clue where we were. They knew like there was a person in this room, but they didn't know where. So I had this scene idea where I thought, okay, maybe he's making a potion and then he looks out the window and I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe he sees like a whale in the sky or he sees like fantasy things outside the window. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I could add something like that. And then who, what, when, where, why, I got to add that. And then I didn't do a very good description of what was in the room to complete the scene. So I need to add in there like um, what is in there and what else I can add. And then that goes along with the comment uh, gives symbols and signs of his um, home from Korea. So he is Chinese and um, the only symbol, the only description I can give of a Korean person is like their eyes and maybe their dark hair. So I got that from BTS because they are very handsome guys. So, and then what's in the room? And then someone mentioned about kilts or something. I think that was just to describe the person like what is he wearing how is his hair styled what is around him in the room that makes him who he is and then I need to since this this book only has three point of views I decided to do three point of views but that might change who knows I need to make sure that I link all these chapters with the characters so I think I've been doing that so there's those. And then, so this was like, um, in last week's uh, video, no wait, in this video, I had been mentioning that I've been having anxiety because I have like all of these chapters that are unwritten and I don't know what, I, like how I'm going to write them, what am I going to do? And the challenge for next week is a character is stuck in a corner, 
having a conversation with himself. And then one of the members in the group added an idea to it. So the word is, I think, T-R-A-N-S-M-O-R-P-H-I-G-H-T-I-O-N. How about we just research it right now? Let's just do it right now. Because I have no clue what that word is. My internet's not working very well. Okay, so I'll just look it up. Um, and then I will. So the challenge, I guess you just add a character in a room and they have a conversation with themselves. Okay, so if I do that and put it in the book, I have to like, how can this motivate him? How it moves the story along? So sometimes when you write in a book, you just got to ask yourself like those questions like, how is it going to work throughout the story, whatnot. So then I had this idea, maybe Dryston finds Shane and Shane hides in a closet and talks to himself to get away from him, from Dryston. I, when I wrote that down, I remembered I had like a few, I had a few chapters that were already written and then I had a few a few chapters that weren't written that maybe I could use that in a chapter and then since I have all these chapters that are not finished or complete or not even written yet I was like okay look back I wrote down look back at challenges on writers group to think of ideas so during the writers group we always do like a challenge and I don't really um, write to them because I'm always working on my stuff and some of the challenges just doesn't fit right in what I'm writing right now. But I think if I go back and look at some of them, maybe it will like spark an idea or something. So I am definitely um, going to do that. So I think tonight's reading went really well. And I'm going to go through these comments tomorrow morning or this weekend or whatever. So uh, thank you for watching and good night. Hello everybody, this is Ashley Lovell. I am the author of The Wish, Awakened Evil, Wicked Curse, and Mystical, which Mystical is in Kindle right now. And print copies are coming soon. And I am also the author of Home, a poetry collection about my childhood and my stepdad Charlie. So it has been like really nice weather outside. So I've been outside a lot. And the only thing that I had been struggling with was the bad news of that I haven't told you guys yet about a friend's dog that I'm really close with. And then the internet quit working. So I've been uh, going over to friends' house. I went over to my friend's house yesterday and I did like, I think three wor three hours worth of internet stuff because I didn't have any internet and I couldn't do my newsletter. I couldn't go onto Canva to do my chapter headings. I couldn't get onto Amazon to do stuff. I couldn't, uh, on Amazon I mean like I couldn't check like my book status or anything. And then I couldn't check my emails. So I asked my friend if I could go over to her house and they were gone for the day. So I just hung out up on her little loft before you go upstairs into their house. So I sat there and Mocha was like laying with me. And then I had, I think I was there from 12, one, two. I, w I think I was there from 12 something to three o'clock. So I did like three hours. <laughs> worth of internet stuff and i have been outside for a while but i'm recording because um in the last couple of videos that i was recording i was telling you guys that i was like really stressed out and overwhelmed because i have all of these chapters that i don't even have uh finished mostly they're not even written and most of them are from Dryston's point of view and Shane's point of view. They are um, identical twins. They look like each other a lot but their personalities and the way they dress are very different. So that's not hard for me to write because I already know, you know, I already know who they are. And then um, last night, I have my one notebook. I've showed it before, it's the purple one. And it has a whole bunch of notes in it. And I was reading through all those notes and I was like, oh, I gotta put all of this into the story. So this is my other notebook right here. And last night I was like writing uh, ideas down. And then this morning I was 
I did only one scene. Uh, last night I got, I don't know, I was just so tired. I got back from my friend's house and I was sitting on the couch and I had a cup of coffee and this was like four o'clock I think. And I was gonna film me uh, sitting on the couch and working on my scenes and stuff. And I was so tired. I was watching, um, there's this YouTube uh, that I just love and it's called Slapped Ham. And he'll show like creepy paranormal videos and pictures and whatnot. And I was watching that and I just kept getting really, really tired. I ended up just flipping my phone over and I leaned back in the chair and I fell asleep from I think three o'clock to six I had I was sleeping, but I slept really good last night. So there would, if I had to get a full-time job, I wouldn't want, there'd be no point in me even working at nighttime because I would be falling asleep, even if I slept all day. So anyways, I had to put that in. So I have all these scenes that I wrote. So one of the scenes I wrote was, so Shane and Trixie are attracted to each other and they like each other. And Shane took her out on a date and that he actually took her through um, like between the realms. So there's like this little area between all of these realms and it's very different from any other like planets and stuff. And uh, his Shane's mag magic shop is between the realms. So he just wanted to show her like what the between the realms is like. And then after that, he takes her back home and he's walking down the back alleyway and there's a character named Star and I did S-T-A-R-R -R. and I love her character and if I had to do a separate series on her, I would so do it in a heartbeat. I just, I would love to do like, with, when I publish my books, I always do like a, a short story behind each book. Like, I... The Wish, maybe I did do a, a, a short story, let me see. Maybe I did. Oh, I did do a bonus short story. The spooky story continues in a sneak peek to the second novel, Awaken Evil in the series. Oh, so when you buy The Wish, the first copy, you get a sneak peek of the first chapter. So one, you get chapter one, chapter two. Yeah, you only get chapter one and chapter two. I didn't put the short story in this book, but so in the back of Awakened Evil, I did a short story. If you guys read the Keeper of Soul series, um, Gina is a paranormal researcher. She's a psychic and she's also a medium. And I loved, I mean, I enjoyed writing her character and I did a short story from when when she was like 25. In the book, she's like 31 or 32. So I did a short story from her point of view. So if I if I ever do like a point of view from Star, if I ever do a story from Star uh, point of view, that would be like so fun. I would love to do that. So I have all of this and all of that. Cause I, the other notebook, I had things that I still needed to put in the story. And then also I think for like a, maybe one or two days, uh, I watched this video and this one girl, I was struggling to try to figure out like how to finish chapters from different characters point of views. And this one girl said that you can actually take like one of your main characters and then put their whole story on a different document and then add in there and then add it into the actual novel. That's actually what I'm doing right now. Chapter, I'm on chapter 56 right now. So I'm, so I'm only doing Shane's story on this and like the other chapters I'm saying like, Trixie and her mom are in class and she has to retake the math test and then 52 and then 53 and I just write what those are. And then I do that with Trixie's character in Dryston's. And then I actually do Shane's full story, like full chapter. So I can actually, so I can actually see like what he's doing and what's going on. So um, that's what I'll probably do today. Since it's gonna be nice out, it is gonna be a little windy, but anyways, um, I might maybe go out on the patio. If I do, I promise I will record it. I just hope it's like really nice out today, but so I got to get ready and head to church. So I will see you guys later.
Hello everybody, I am back from church. I just got home. I put some chicken uh, in the oven. Oh, Pastor Dave did an amazing job on his sermon today. We've been doing a series, uh, First Peter, and we're like, I think we're on chapter 14. 13 or 14, I can't remember. But oh, he has been doing, who am I supposed to? Uh, he has been doing an amazing job. And um, every time like I listen to him preach, I always get like these poetry ideas and I just get so excited like when I wake up in the morning I just want to go like on Sundays and Wednesdays. I never used to like to go on Wednesdays and then now I love going because I get to read my poem, I get to worship the Lord, and I get to pray with other people and it's a very powerful time. So now that I am back home, I'm waiting for my chicken to get done, which will probably be like an hour. But I am going to go through my sermon notes that I wrote down, and I'm going to work on uh, the Trixie series, which is not really called that. Uh, it's called the Sword of Realm series. And then, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so I'm still doing just Shane's uh, story that I got that idea off of a YouTube channel and I have a few more uh, I still have a lot of chapters that are not written or even worked on yet but I'm actually feeling like a little bit more calmer because I've been reading the Bible a lot and I've been writing a lot of uh, poetry and that seems to be like really helping me. And I still haven't heard any news on Daisy. So I just hope that she's walking and she's doing okay. If you can pray for Daisy, that would be great. Uh, she's a dog and she's like another daughter to me. So that would be appreciated.